How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser. And if you're like me who loves riding motorcycles, especially at night, and for the next three days I'm gonna have no rain, so I took a chance to finally get this reviewed. And this is an HID Extra Razor, which is gonna be for your motorcycle headlight. I think it's a great product for you and I to benefit with this video. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. Now I'm gonna take this out of the box gently and fill it out. Wow, this thing is made of metal. Look at those circuits and LED bulbs there. Everyone knows LED is efficient. Pretty much the best way to go nowadays. And here's another one in case I want to replace it later on. This is a power director which is 40 watts EMC. Input voltage is 8 to 848 volts. And this will plug into my motorcycle and I will show you guys how I installed it. We get two of them. So this is what comes in this kit. I do have a little 250 motorcycle, pay $11 a month for insurance, and I get 65 miles to the gallon. So why would I not love riding that, right? I don't have a car right now, so I have a motorcycle. I need to get somewhere. 1231 a.m. in the morning. Even if you're riding in the day, especially at nighttime, you have to be aware of all your surroundings. This is a new second to none design. It is full aluminum, heat dissipation, perfection, 7,000 RPM fan to deliver maximum airflow, IP67, which is water sealed grommets. You'll get to experience 36 lumens 200% brighter than your stock halogens up to 10,000 hours of bulb life. With the very best cream-made LEDs, experience zero color fading and reliability, low power consumption. Of course, with LEDs, that's what you get. True plug and play, twist and go design built in canvas with zero interference. So yeah, that's what comes out of the box, what I needed to say so you guys can understand why I'm making this video. I'm going to be testing the before with stock on my motorcycle and then we'll do the after. Let's go. So what do you guys think? Is it better? Is it worth it? In my opinion and experience, it is a little bit brighter. It also has that cool blue to white tone to it. And it is a little bit of a weird spread out. I'll try to capture it as best as I could with my sport camera. The glare was right next to the headlight, so it was kind of too much for the case. And it kind of distorted a little bit of extra flare on it. Other than that, I did have a little bit of help. An extra hand is going to always make it worthwhile. It was fairly easy, around 10 to 12 minutes to install it. And then I was good to go. Now I specified my experience with my 2012 Honda CBR250R so they make all kinds of bulbs for your motorcycle so you can check out their website and figure out which one it is for yours. So there you guys have it. This is my review of the HID Razor. If you would like one for yourself, check out the website in the link down below. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later.